chatting off camera, Rob Stenberg, one of the artists here for the Beaver Creek Art Festival 30th Annual. So Rob, you've been coming to this event for how many years, you said? This is my 15th year. And you, where are you from? I'm from Mesa, Arizona, by way of Ann Arbor, Michigan. University of Michigan, right? Of course, certainly, go blue. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> go blue. Welcome to the mountains. Thank Once you. Once again, you're getting out of the hot temperatures of Arizona. Yeah, we've already had a couple hundred and twenty, so I don't want to be that's, there. And that's not just hot, it's it's humid. Oh no, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> It's and how nice horrible. is this? Oh, this is great. I mean, I love this. That's why I come up here. So, Rob, we talked off camera. I love your story. Your story of um, how you used to be in the healthcare business. You wore your suit and tie all the time. And you're like, you know what? I've had a passion for, for art since I was in high school. And you kind of got back to your roots. So kind of give us a little bit more of your backstory. Well, I, I graduated from Michigan with a degree in education. Went on, never taught a day in my life. Went on to a healthcare career. Um, did really well. Was in administration and consulting traveled all over the world, worked in developing countries, but always had this thing for art. And one day I just got back after a real long trip and I said, I can't do this anymore. I got to follow my dream. And it was kind of a leap of faith at the time, I guess, but didn't really seem You like haven't it. looked back. I never looked back. I, so, I just quit. Two weeks later, I was a full-time artist and it's just taken off since then. Yeah. This show has been a big, big plus for my career, actually. So, and you travel around the West. You travel, you were at the Keystone Art Festival last week. You're going to Frisco coming up soon. Correct. And the Beaver Creek Art Festival, it has a special place for you. It's a, it's a great art festival. Well, it, it's, a, it's a tremendous setting for an art show. It's, it's just a beautiful area for anything. It's a great summer It's like the epitome place. of what, it, what an art festival would yeah, look like. This is probably, I think, the premier show in Colorado, in the Valley, without question. It's just beautiful. We love it. Now, your medium is pretty specific. It Tell is. us about what it's all about. We're going to focus on that. Maybe um, Liam can get a shot of that. Well, one. I've, I've, I like a lot of whimsy. I like to make people happy. That's my goal. If you notice, all my animals are smiling. This is all done on a wood panel that I make. Okay. This is metal, but it's vintage tin ceiling tile that came out of a building in Iowa. I bought it in Phoenix at a... Uh, salvage kind of place. Do you have a bunch of that to sit in your garage? You must. Well, I also do a line of furniture and I buy a lot of uh, 100 year old barn wood. And I was going looking for barn wood in this yard and I came across this big stack of this stuff. And I thought, what the heck am I going to do with it? So I just bought it and I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. One day I said, okay, I'll do characters out of it. And I like how it's weathered. It's rusted. It's beat up. It has I, some, it has some story. I've done, done my designs on there. I have not change the look of the that's the original rust that stuff's probably over 100 years old now we talked off camera also you obviously have a great selection here at your booth but you have people that come up to you and say hey rob you know i've got a space that's 10 times the size of that piece of artwork can you make me something similar to that that's 20 feet tall and 20 feet wide and you can customize them i do it all the time the biggest piece i ever did was two feet by 20 feet long um, what i do is sit down with a client we go over what we want i do a sketch and I build whatever size they need, and they love it. And they know what they're getting. I deliver it, I hang it, it's a full service operation. <laughs> I love it. And you're here today, you're here tomorrow once again. 10 to five, yep. And then you're off to Frisco. Off to Frisco. And then you gotta eventually go back to Arizona? And I go back to the heat after that. And then I start working again. And how long does it take for you to reproduce or to produce something like this that? This is stages. I build the panel, or the, the, the wood panel first, and then I come in and I put this texture stuff on there, do the kind of frame stuff. I lay out the, um, the characters on the tin, cut them with an old-fashioned tin snips, nothing fancy, yeah. no power tools. The only power tools I use, these are all screwed on here, so it's built to last. 100% green. Thanks, Rob, for your time. Thank you. I enjoyed it. All right. Stop by Rob Stenberg's booth right here at the Beaver Creek Art Festival. We're going to take it to Claire next. She has a look at your weather forecast for the weekend.